Welcome to the Revival Center of Paso Robles. We're glad you're here. Our prayer is that you'll be blessed and edified by this message and to be encouraged to live out the full potential of your faith. We are located at 3850 Ramada Drive in Paso Robles, California, and we invite you to join us each Sunday morning at 10 and Wednesday evenings at 7. To learn more about who we are and what we believe, please visit us at alphabeth.org. Now, please open your Bible as Pastor Gabe begins teaching today's Word. Lord, I give you my heart. I give you my soul. I live for you alone. Every breath that I take, every moment I'm away. until you start obeying the Great Commission. God has said, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Amen. 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 That was a divine mandate. Everybody say divine mandate. Divine. That was a divine mandate. It's a lifestyle that we've got to get a hold of. God says, go ye into all the world. God, God didn't say stay. God didn't say sit still. God says, go. And if God hasn't called you to go around the world, God has called you to go to your neighbor next door. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> if God has called you to go to your neighbor next door, God has called you to go to family members in the body of Christ. Amen. Amen. It's the will of God that we start going and we quit waiting to threaten people wanting to come to us. It is, it is a divine mandate. Yeah. 
Secondly, is it, is it a, is a divine message? God says, go into all the world. And he says, and I want you to teach them to observe, to do everything, glory to God, everything that's in the commandment. You heard this morning about forgiveness. That is not a good idea. It is a commandment before God to forgive. Amen. 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 It is a commandment of God to bless and not to curse. Amen. Amen. It is a commandment that, that where we go, that we leave in anointing the countenance of God. This afternoon, when I, when I go to the woods home, my, as far as I'm concerned, the Bible says, wherever I put the soles of my feet, God's going to give us the land. So I'm joining together with brothers and sisters in Christ. We're going to walk on that property. And the very moment my foot touches that property, we, we have just come in agreement. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. That that property does not belong to you. The bank may have your name on it. It is not yours. It is God's. Yeah. And the best thing you're doing this morning is surrendering it to God. So we are going way out in the country past Pozo Sloom. Or not past Pozo Yeah, not, not that far. But we're going out for one reason. To take the gospel. Amen. 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 To, to, to take the it is It is a divine message. It is a divine mandate. It is a, it is a divine message. And it is a divine mission. Amen. Amen. We gotta, we gotta understand that what we are doing, that we are on a mission for the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. And the moment you understand that it is God's mission and is God's commission, you quit being so much concerned about how you feel about your stuff. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. Yeah. The enemy is always trying to get us to get sidetracked from the missions of God. Mm -hmm. I, I am my my lifestyle. My lifestyle is a mission. Amen. That's right. Every place I go, I want to be able to, to talk about the power and the kingdom of God. It is, it is a divine mission. The, the, the scripture says, go into all the world and preach the gospel to who? To every creature. Amen. Right. To every, every creature. You know? What is a creature? A creature is, is, a, is, a, live, is, a, is a living being. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. Yeah, I, this is me. I take this stuff literally. I go out there and I, and I, and I preach to my dog. I got I, I I got I got three chickens and I prophesied into their life and if they don't want to produce, then they gotta be they, they gotta be out of here. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. Prophesied every creature. No, nothing, nothing happens nothing happens in my life by accident. It is it, it is a it is a divine mission. It is a divine message. It is also it also we are following a divine mentor. We're following a divine mentor. It says, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. And then, and then later on, he comes along and he says, Lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the world. Glory to God. So we're, we're operating under the, under the mentorship of God. Yes. Amen. Amen. See, as soon as we learn to get ourselves out of the way, we can respond to the mentorship of God. That's right. Amen. Amen. So this morning... I told you I'm doing good this morning. This morning we have an opportunity to, to be a blessing around the world. Amen. That God has loved us enough that God has taken a member of this body to make further impact around the world. Addie is going to, Minister Addie, is going to be serving for the next <coughs> seven weeks. In Africa. Amen. 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 Going out on her own. And she'll be heading first in Madagascar. There for a couple of weeks. Then she'll be going to Zambia, Africa. For a couple of weeks. Then she's going to Uganda. You know, and just like you guys sowed into Alvaretti's life as far as this, the uh, Pearl. What you're going to do is still part of our mission. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. It was still part of our mission. So the moment godly people stepped into that courtroom, the judge wasn't the boss. Amen. 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 You got saints. That want, I want you to get this. You need to know whose shoes you're walking in. That's right. That's right. Every place you put the soul to feet, he's going to give you the land. Amen. Yes. So God allowed me years ago to become a part of Minister Addie's life. We've talked over the years all the things that, as, as friends, we've gone through, and in the times that I had to, I had, I had to con confront her, and 
You know, and, and, but but I tell you what, and I and I mean this, I mean this, I mean this. At this point in time, I've never found anybody more teachable and more amenable. She'll ask me some difficult questions, but if I can show her the scripture, she's good with it. She obeys. My life, as far as a call in the ministry, is to make an impact on your lives. You know, I did, the truth, you don't have to like me. <laughs> That's enough out of you, babe. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you, you don't have to like me. But when all is said and done, I want you to understand that I say, you know, I didn't like him, but he told me the truth. He made, an, he, made an, he made an impact on my life. That's my heart. Yes. That's the mission that God, that, that, that God, has, that God has called me to. You know, and I'm going to ask all of my ministers that I called on yesterday, I want you to come and stand out here with me. So, so important. The scripture says this. How beautiful are the feet of them that bring good news. Miss Addie, I want you to come and sit right here. She didn't know anything about this. <laughs> She's not going to Africa to enjoy a trip. She's going to work. How beautiful are the feet of them that bring good news. So as she is serving the nations, we as a church, we as ministers, are serving her. I said to this before that when you go, when you come back, your life is not going to be the same. I'm here to tell you that your life's not going to be the same after today. You know, as Pastor Dorothy is anointing your feet, each one of these ministers has been assigned to pray over a certain aspect of your life. And come on, just before you start right where just just begin to thank God, can you? This is a God thing. Hallelujah. Ask if you will receive whatever you need. Just worship the Lord.
right here, Lord, how this is speaking into Abby's life, this is speaking into the congregation life, that this is cultivating the ground, Lord, that that ground over there, Lord, has already been cultivated by the months, the months of planning, God, the months of prayer, Lord, and the, the months that you, months, years, as what has already been said, the years, Lord, that you have been planning on this, Lord, you have cultivated that ground over there. So it is right, Lord. It is right for ministry. It is right for the fruition, Lord. That there is fruit that is going to be be born. There's fruit that is gonna be. You, 
Thank you, Lord, for the fruit that is going to come of this, Lord. That Addie is going to see, Lord. I thank you for the seeds that will be planted during this time, God. The seeds that are going to be planted, Lord. Change lives, Lord, that she is going to be a part of something so much bigger than herself, Lord. So much greater because you are in this, God. You are in this, Lord. And you are working. You are going to change people's lives over there, Lord. The various opportunities, Lord. She will be preaching to, to large crowds, I believe. She will be preaching to kids, Lord. And she is going to change people's lives because you are leading her, God. You are leading her. These beautiful feet, wherever they go, Lord, you have cultivated that ground and you have gone before her and you are waiting for her to meet you there, God. And Lord, we speak against whatever attacks are going to come against her because we know that the, the devil does not want the freedom that she is going to be a part of, of releasing to people, Lord. So whatever attacks, Lord, we cancel them. That you are greater, God. You are greater. Thank you, Lord. Father, we just praise you. We thank you, God, that you said no good thing would you withhold from those who walk uprightly. Lord, you said that you are good to those who seek you. Lord, you said you reward those who diligently seek you. So we come on Annie's behalf, and we ask for divine help, that her body would operate the way it's supposed to, the way you manufacture it to. We speak to her digestive and her intestinal system, Lord, that it would work properly. Lord, you said that we would drink maybe even deadly things and it would not hurt us. We just pray, Lord, that for divine health in her body and in her back, in the name of Jesus, that she would be able to travel, Lord, in comfort. That Eddie would love to distract her and just bog her down with physical issues. But as she is focused, Lord, the supernatural, and she understands that she's doing this for a spiritual reason, that we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. Lord, she keep her mind focused when she's supposed to. Lord, these petty things that Eddie would just love to attack her with, maybe even the sniffles, we pray against it. We say, no weapon, formed against you, Eddie, shall prosper. Lord, we said you would fall things, that we prosper, be in health, even as our soul prospers. So we just make divine, supernatural strength. You said if we would wait on you, Lord, that they that wait upon the Lord would renew their strength. They would mount up the wings as eagles. They would run and not be weary. They would walk and not faint. So we speak divine health and supernatural strength that her immune system would be strong to fight off anything that's floating around in the airplanes and buses in a foreign land that her immune system would be completely strong. There would not be one day that she would have to, to, to rest up or to, to uh, be restored to health, that she would just keep on going the whole time, that you would give her restorative sleep at night, deep sleep, so she could go another day, that every day would be used as full advantage. We thank you in advance. We know that you are more than able to do above and beyond we can ever ask or think in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father God, I'm excited about what you have planned for our sister in Christ. Father God, I, she has wanted to do this for so long. And I thank you, Father God, that you are blessing her. You are, we are sending her out today. Today, Father God, we are sending her out in Jesus' name for what you're going to do with her, Father God. We give you praise and honor and glory. Hallelujah for what you're doing with her, Father. God, I pray for a special blessing upon her family, Lord. I pray for her sons, Lord, their children. I pray, Lord God, that that they would see the example of their mother, Father God, their grandmother. Lord God, that you would give them the desire to lift her in prayer, Father God. Lord, they will be taken care of. They will be watched over, Father. Lord God, we thank you for what you're going to do. While she's gone, Lord God, I pray that they would have the desire to lift her up every day, Father God, that they would be in prayer and they would just lift her in love. Father God, we as a body also need to join together and lift her up in prayer, Father. Lord God, that we wouldn't forget what she's doing for you out there, Father God, that we join together what you're doing. So, Father God, I thank you, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Father God, for this sister. I thank you for this example that she is to us. I thank you for how she wants to serve you, Lord. This is all about you, Father God, and only you. And we give you the glory, and we gather together as a body, and we send her out in Jesus' name. Amen.
God, you are the nations. Father God, we pray, Lord God, over Pastor Andrea, her husband and children. God, we pray, Lord God, over Dr. Kaluba, Minister Precious, and their children. God, we pray over Pastor Hudson and Mercy. Mercy, we pray, God, for these ministries. God, I pray, God, that as they're preparing to receive the woman of God, all things are going to work together for your good. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, let's stand together. So you guys laugh when I said I was going to be about 10 minutes. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pray over you one more time and then uh, we're getting out a little bit early as we give you time to go home, change clothes, or whatever we need to do. so we can get back out to the woods house at two o'clock wear, uh, wear comfortable shoes uh, yeah I, I, I really I would I would like I would like for you to go not not for my sake I would like you to go for their sake okay that's that's really important yes hang on a second yes ma'am She's leaving this Tuesday. But it's live Wednesday morning at 9 o'clock. Okay. Tuesday's what day? From San Francisco, Tuesday is the 23rd. 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 23
watching this by way of video, I just feel a little hard to say this. Somebody here that's been watching this, God is calling you and bringing you back home. You run, you've hidden. God knows where you're at, and He loves you with an everlasting love. And all you got to do is say, Lord Jesus, come back in my heart. I repent. I need you. I'm not going to run anyway anymore. I'm going to start running towards you. Somebody here, you need to hear this. This is a day that God is getting ready to change your life. And we at the Revival Center, we, we're here. We want to help you. We got plenty of people that we can uh, get back to you and, and they would pray with you and pray for you, <laughs> encourage you. And you're more than welcome to call us here at the Revival Center at area code 805 434 5170. It's 805. 434-5170 or you can email us at alphabeth a-l-p-h-a-b-e-t-h at t-c-s-n dot net and we love you as, as I pray for those in this room I pray for you right now Father in the name of Jesus the next few minutes I pray that you're going to revolutionize our life give us ears to hear what the Spirit of God is saying to us as well as to these that watch us by way of video. God, as we look at the signs of the times, we can tell that Jesus is coming. He's coming soon. Bless, Lord God, this time that we spend together right now. In Jesus' name.